you know, still trying to slow down and not slur, um, not say a slur, Sl- slur my words. I might say a slur. Oh my no, God. <laughs> it's probably a good time, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good time. Just drop a couple. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the Say What Podcast, where my when Yosef's emotions run high and Saha does his best to, con- to control it and his patience runs low. Uh, if you're listening to this on Spotify, uh, you can save this and add this to your library and download it and like it. Uh, if you're listening to this on YouTube, obviously subscribe down below and hit the like button, hit the dislike button twice, and leave a comment on what you think. So let's get right into it. All right. Yeah, you said it, Yosef, <laughs> man. Good to, good to be back for another episode. Episode four, Say What Podcast. Thank you. I want to do a little shout out here. I had some people that I want to shout out. Uh, some of the people that have been listening to us and supporting, uh, shout out Salem. Salem says he's been listening to oh, it while he does homework. Yeah, my our guy, uh, Brene, Brene, uh, YouTuber, also from IU. Uh, account uh, Burnout Plays. This account comments in every one of my videos, bro. They're the best. I was, I was looking at. I was like, yeah, uh, Shaheem, Shaheem, our cousin. I saw. Uh, hey, Shaheem, I saw you. If you listen to this, I saw you at Lowe's. And uh, yeah, they're in yeah. town. I love them. Yeah, 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 I drove past you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to you guys. Um, uh, Garrett Waite. Uh, my boy Thomas, uh, we'll talk about him some more later, a uh, stand-up comedian from IU. And shout out to Salon. So, my God, if you're watching this, you might visually uh, see a little bit of difference on our setup here. So we got these uh, these different mics, obviously, and there's a stand, and it actually sounds like professional. What? <laughs> so all this to say, a big shout out to our, our friend, uh, IU student, Sloan Welsh. Sloan, he's here behind the scenes right now we'll put a picture of him right here Let's so put you a can round see of applause. he's our guy yes bro shout out to Sloan. he's right here anyway he's our guy he's basically uh producing today's podcast today's episode of say what is brought to you by sloan welsh we'll put his uh, portfolio his uh his personal links in the description below check him out if you're uh, in needing of any audio services anything like that the man is uh the man's coming up and uh, i got to i got to know sloan on a short film uh, that I got to be part of uh, here at IU, and um, he was doing audio recording for that. And uh, he's a Jacob student, like I said, senior, and uh, we really appreciate it, uh, my guy. And uh, that's why it sounds so good as it does. So don't get used to it. Don't get used to how good this sounds. We don't know how long this is going to last. <laughs> After tonight, he was not going to want to come back. That's how bad we're going to treat him. So um, the idea is just uh, we thank him and uh, check out his work and enjoy this uh, beautifully produced uh, audio. So. All right. What what do you want to talk about here? Uh, so the first thing on the list things, yeah. is the Emmys. Now I yeah. did not watch the Emmys. Nor I was, did I. To be honest uh, with you, I, just, I saw like a couple clips here. I saw Zendaya win, which yeah. by the she fucking deserved that. Hey, do you watch that show Euphoria? Such a fucking good show, bro. Right. What a good sh- dude. What's HBO, right? HBO yeah, right? HBO. Mm. I'm, listen, I'm not capping. I swear to God, HBO. Is the best fucking. Dude, they need to start paying anything. you because you might as well be Dude, like sponsored. Dude, I swear to God, like they don't even have to pay. I'll, I will do it. Yo, so I will do it. He is, he's like, plugging HBO Max. Till. Dude, every time like Netflix fell off like after like their first run and stuff. Um, fucking Hulu. What do they really have? Like let's be <laughs> let's be real here. Like, am I right? Like, you know, what I mean? like, like Hulu has like a couple here and there. Like they had that Wu Tang show, but like and then it kind of oh, ended. as far as originals go, yeah, like as far as originals, there's not yeah. much. Like, oh, so movies, this is sure, HBO yeah. original HBO series. HBO yeah, yeah. has the best original TV shows and series, hands down. Like there's Succession, Curb, there's fucking True Detective that we were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. There's fucking Barry. There's the the outside. Oh my god, yeah. There's so much good shit, dude. If it's worth the fifteen bucks a month, and even for students, I think it's. Eleven dollars a month. Or For real? It's cheaper. Bro, I gotta it's get on that, month. or just but, give me your login. No, no. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah. So she want you seen the whole show? This uh, yeah, me and Samira. That's cool. At first, because like the trailer is like, oh my god, it's gonna be some corny shit. Yeah, but, but dude, then me and Samira watched it. Nice. She was insane. Nice. Insanely good. Good, good. Um, but yeah, I saw that. Uh, I saw that she won. That was really well deserved. Yeah, for she was um, she's twenty four, I think. Yeah, bro. youngest. Definitely youngest uh, woman, I think, to win an Emmy. Definitely youngest black woman to win an Emmy. She's so. killing it. Pretty right cool. Now. Pretty cool. Even though, bro, the Emmys was like all virtual this year. You know, yeah. it was like. Was just, Jimmy Kimmel the host? Yeah, he was the host. Okay. And uh, even though he. <laughs> I did sh- you ever see his. Yeah, I mean, this is a year of people's uh, past getting uh, outed, if we, if you will, right? Yeah. And so there's like footage of Jimmy doing. Uh, I'll go with impersonations of black people in the past, like Oprah. Have you seen his Oprah from his old show? <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> it's what you think it might be. Nice. Down to the black face. <laughs> nice. Anyway, uh, despite that, Jimmy was amazing. <laughs> no, bro, this shit was online. It was, uh, he, 
he there was on a stage somewhere but people like jennifer aniston came came out and she like put out a fire i was just on twitter catching up like there was a little trash can fire on the stage i'll put the video right here um those of you caught up on the emmys probably saw it and jennifer aniston literally had like a fire extinguisher and just went and just like put it out and uh what? What the everyone's fuck? like let's get her to take on the north the northeast the oh. north the, the, the greater northwest area of this country oh uh, okay, no i know but okay. um okay. anyway uh funny thing was um rami yusuf's uh he tweeted so his show was up for i believe best comedy uh television program and uh what they do is they go to your house the um the people from the emmys they had like interns or whatever in like hazmat suits it was the most funny video jesus where this intern's like holding an Emmy in a hazmat suit outside his house and it's like when you lose the Emmy and it's just the person going <laughs> and they walk away <laughs> holding the Emmy. It's like same energy as like a uh, Hannah Montana gift or whatever but it was funny and that, that shit like popped up. It's like this is what it looks like today. So um, other things fucking Shit's I mean, Creek swept the goddamn world. You know the Shit's Creek? I don't Creek. fucking watch I, I don't watch that it. show. But it's uh, Canadians man. Canadians, uh, Canadians, eh? Nah, Eugene, <laughs> Eugene Levy, you know, American Pie dad, Eyebrows, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> him and uh, his wife, uh, Catherine O'Hara. I talk like I know them, yeah. Um, but uh, they're just, uh, you know, comedy gods. Like they swept all seven nominations that they they got all seven. And it's his his son is in it too, Dan. Uh-huh. Uh, K- Caroline likes this show and yeah. her friends, but um, you know. Fucking uh, all that to say. I've never seen that show. There's it's, uh, I, mean, Netflix. I swear to God, dude, I'm out of the loop. Oh, yeah. But when you brought up Jennifer Aniston, did you yeah. see uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High? What was um, that? Can you do you know what that was? They were it was doing like a like table a, read. It was like, yeah, it was a table mm-hmm. read. So like each character, that was each cool. Shia, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, what was he? that man? How do you get that quality from his car? <laughs> like, I don't fucking know, bro. <laughs> Man, this man's dropping like Molly on the spot. He was like smoking real their, weed and shit. Twitter, bro. There was a picture of like him from like a little kid from like even Steven, like yeah. And then like a shot of him, same. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, like, fucking Shia LaBeouf is underrated, like acting wise. Like oh. right now, he's finally getting his like his praise and everything. The recognition, yep, yeah. dude. Yeah. Dude, you know, he's, he's like, fucking nice, bro. Like, I gotta watch. Uh, Honey Boy? Was yeah. That Did you see this? Yeah. Oh I, I, I saw like the first half of it mm-hmm. and I fell asleep and everything. It, was, it wasn't the movie's fault. It was just a fucking tough night. No, I, you know, like, <laughs> but, what is it? What's it on? Uh, Hulu. It's on Amazon. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. there you go. Prime. Amazon. And then he was also in uh, Peter Butter Falcon. That was, he had like a really big okay. hand in that. Gotcha. Um, and then. Remember Eagle Eye? Yeah. I used to love that fucking movie, dude. I, I remember when that came out. That was like the coolest thing. I but, used to. 2008. I had that. I, we used to go to Blockbuster when that show was there. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, and I would rent that shit every time. That's, and then, a, that's a golden memory, bro. I mean, dude, that shit was insane. That you actually remember going I to Blockbuster. I used to love it. But then apparently the movie was dog shit. But, I know, right? You look back at like, like some of the old movies we loved, like yeah. X-Men Origins. <laughs> Bro, bro, I still love. That I, movie. I stand by that. Why? Not? I will. You could put a gun to my head, and I will still tell you why I fucking love. Like that movie. Granted, you watch it again. Not great. I mean, bro, bro we I, were like what 10, 11 maybe when that shit came out. That shit was so fun. And then like Target sold the Wolverine fucking thing. Oh my god! Oh dude. my god! I was man. like, mom, please. It's that, like fifty bucks for one claw. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Mom, I'm gonna need uh, both. I was like, mom, I swear <laughs> I can be Wolverine. <laughs> oh but, man. Uh, uh what else what else somebody uh commented and said talk about high school in bloomington <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want to why don't you tell them where I, we well, went okay i think we both had like pretty different experiences let's just talk about each of our experiences yeah. uh, i feel like you have the more of like positive like you got the full use of high school you know what i mean I like, did stuff. Like people, I tried to get you to do stuff too. No, yeah, you did stuff too. Anyway, you know, <laughs> just, we just, both. I think it's where fair we to go. Say, just I think it's fair to say we both had very different reputations. We'll, we'll like, learn. Yeah, just so, tell them. Just so we both went to South. So I was two years old. Two years older than me, uh, and like we, but we over like we went to high school at the same time. So for my freshman year was your junior year. We're two years apart. Yeah. Yep. So sophomore and junior. Year, Freshman, my freshman, sophomore year, we were, you, yep, yeah, we yep. were together. Yosef was the kid yeah. who was friends with freshmen before anybody. He was the fresh, excuse me, <laughs> senior. Yeah, jeez, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was hung out with underage kids. No, <laughs> Yosef was like that kid, like the freshman and sophomore that only had like senior friends, for example. Yeah, bro. Bro, he was like in the different lunch, man. You you were all over. Dude, the place, I would anyway. be moving around like 
so sophomore year is when like I really started getting to know all the seniors and everything. Yeah, like, when you were in senior class and everything. Yep, yep. Like we would li- we lifted with the track team for a little. Like when you yeah, were there, bro. After school, I missed that shit so much, dude. Wow. And then um, God, I could use that. Right oh, now. and then also, uh, I was miss. I was like our English teachers, uh, or one of the English teachers, TA. Yes, th- their yes, assistant. yes, yes. So what I would do because it was fifth period senior English, bro. Nobody gave. And it was regular English too. Nobody gave a shit. I just had like read like twenty quizzes, like one class. The rest of the time, I was either fucking around, walking around the halls, or I was just helping the entire English department. So I True. was in Devil One Thirty One for fifth period. Yep. With Miss uh, my guy, nah, was it was teacher. But, but yeah. um, so and, yeah, Yosef being the sophomore, her TA. He would just come in and out like, hey, what's up? It was like yeah. it was like a fucking like the sitcom when the celebrity yeah. walks in. Everyone's like, woo! It's like in Family Matters when the yeah. less talented Steve Urkel comes in. No, it's like on this week's Full House, Kareem Aldu like, yeah. uh, has the cameo, and like Yosef walks in, and everyone's yeah. like, and and then our teacher was like, she projected like super kind and like up. She's like, Yosef, yeah, what are you doing? And you're like, I work for you. <laughs> what do you mean? What no, I'm doing? So the thing, so I had his teacher for honors English. Um, oh, yeah. Freshman year. Yeah. Not yep. yep and yep. Uh, I like I was kind of the fucking. I've always been the class clown, but that class especially like we would always do this thing on Friday where it's like you, it's like not show and tell, but you just good things. It's like oh, good things yeah. about the week to happen or yeah. whatever. And anytime it got to my turn, mm-hmm. I would use that shit up so we didn't have to deal with class because she'd do it first thing in the morning. Ah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> So the first time she Eat did up it, time. I was telling stories on stories. This was your first open mic. I was <laughs> killing it, dude. Oh my, like, dude, I was, it was like batting like 800. <laughs> I was killing it. I was getting laughs from everybody. Oh, she yeah. was loving it. Oh yeah. And then we got no class, no class. And then there was nothing We're left. We're behind because of oh, me. Oh my God. All the other classes. All right, well, let's, thank you, Yosef. Yeah, and that was the first There's time. There's the I bell. The second one, everyone in that class that I liked, or all my friends, Fucking, they were in a different class. So yeah. I was alone. Yeah. So yeah. then all of that charm melted away. Ugh. And then she would always be like, "Yes, yeah, so if you got a, you got a story," or I'd be like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> Next. So so yeah, um, mostly. I mean, you had your friends. We you, you hung yeah. out with us a lot. Shout out Easton, Ethan, Trey, I Sam, love you, Alex. Uh, our our graduating yeah. class. You know, we, you were the guy who. We made you. <laughs> no, it was like Goodfellas. You were like Henry coming up, yeah. like, "Hey, got a boy. He got pinched. <laughs> he came over to Pizzo's Panther Plus." Yeah. I'm like, uh, what's yeah. what's his name? Uh, the guy in the fuck? Not what's the guy's name in Goodfellas? The main guy. What's his name? Oh, uh, uh, like, oh my God! The character's name? What? No, no, his, the actor. The actor. What's his name? Robert. De Niro? No, 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 not Robert De Niro. The guy who's fucking. Ju- he. It looks like he has eyeliner on all the time. Bobby Cavanaugh. No, no, no! Hold on. A Goodfellas movie. Oh man, hold on. A Goodfellas main actor that was I learned. F- Ray Liotta. That's who. It oh, is. oh, oh! Thank you. <laughs> I thought you said Irishman. <laughs> I thought you said Irishman. <laughs> no, no, no! Goodfellas, Goodfellas. Yeah, so I'm like, I was like the Ray Liotta of the fucking group. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you guys were like yep. Joe Pesci. And yep, yep. Robert De Niro. You motherfucker, you. But uh, it was good you times, man. So you know, you. Now, now here's okay. Now here's the thing, though. Uh, Soha was like the face of the school. It's like you no, couldn't bro, you no. couldn't walk no. around without this motherfucking no. being like that's hey, here. Uh, what's that? No, that's no, here. Even, even then, bro. no, bro. Even, you stop capping, bro. He was the SRT show man. You were you. <laughs> that was that was later. That was you were later. literally the face of that stuff. was that was junior year. Okay, that was completely different. What is your decline, no, dude? This is like <laughs> when I was falling into obscurity. <laughs> Like people knew me for the wrong reasons. I I, I did I played football. I he was like football science Olympiad, science Olympiad robotics, which are completely different camps. Oh my if god! I may. You walk down the hall, everyone's dapping so high up, like he's fucking, like uh, like the star QB of like of like a, it took a, a, a while. D1 no. school, you know, a D3 cafeteria. Like, oh my god! Mind All you. the teachers fucking loved him. Everybody had good things to say about him. All right. Me, I'm getting referrals what? left and right. <laughs> Tell me about Mr. True's office. Oh my God! Our I vice fuck it. assistant principal. Me and Mr. Yeah. Vice so our yeah. we had three assistant principals. One of them was like the most feared guy in the school, just because oh. he, because like he was the one who would fucking what enforce all the rules. It was Mr. True. Oh, oh, he was the one. Yeah. Okay. There, I'm he thinking was of the one somebody. Who was, 
You might oh, be thinking yeah. of Fletcher. I mean, he, even he, he's like not that. Yeah, I'm thinking of the. Yeah, yeah. Fletcher, he was just fucking. He, he was just there. A ghost, yeah. He would be there for the pep rally. Remember Drew would take people's hats? Oh, that shit was annoying. Remember I that? remember I had like. If you wore a hat in the I cafeteria. I had a really bad haircut one time. Uh-huh. At least I thought it was bad. Uh-huh. And I was wearing a hat the whole day. <laughs> I was fucking. Nobody even Look said at me, anything. Yeah. Nobody cared. All of a sudden, True comes up out of nowhere. Whap! Takes my fucking hat. Damn. You know when you're wearing a hat, the shit's like your hair gets like smashed out. I don't wear a hat. It looks bro. So gross I, as I shit. can't do a hat. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh come on, bro. So I had to like go through the whole day of just like, you know, looking like a goddamn <laughs> like a greaser from Greece. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro. Like, Real quick, I gotta give a shout out to Aiden. Yeah, I saw Did that. Did you yeah. see that? Yeah, he was. A, Dude, our boy Aiden, Aiden Lynch, Lynch. Shout out. He he went to South and he was in. Was that the Outsiders? That was the Outsiders, yeah. the play. That's why I, he was Dallas. He was Dallas yeah. in the Outsiders play. Aiden uh, are calling him, watching yeah, this. I mean, we knew him, like, before. Yeah, we no, he's, him, like... he's homegrown, bro. Yeah. He he uh, went out to L.A. recently, and he's doing the acting thing. And today we saw on Snapchat the trailer drop for this crazy good... This movie looks fucking awesome. Yeah, it it's was... a it's a movie by Aaron Sorkin, bro. Yeah. The Aaron Sorkin Social Network. Like, yeah. Okay. This guy, uh, it's called Chicago Seven or something like that. It's about yeah. sixty eight protests in Chicago. Uh-huh. Sasha Baron Cohen is in it. Joseph Gordon Levitt is in it. And and in a couple stills, Aiden, our friend Aiden from Bloomington, he's an extra. He's like one of the dude. Protesters. And there was like good. It wasn't like some bullshit no. shot where he's like walking. By. He's like, like he's in that. Yeah. Shit. He's, like, he's like in focus. Yeah, dude. Bro, I was so hyped, man. I, I immediately watched the trailer. My our mom's, uh, my mom and his mom like walk a lot together and um, super nice people, yeah. man. So we're we're super happy for our buddy yeah, and. Man. Bro, man, if that's what uh, less than a year in LA can get for you, man, I he's swear to God, he's, better. He got fucking. He's. I want to manage him. I'm gonna manage him. Like, <laughs> I'll be the guy in the back, like, don't do it. <laughs> Here, help him get other roles. Yeah. <laughs> no, bro. So anyway, that was. Um, but so you know, but yeah, like we I, we that, did we similar stuff and yeah. You're talking about track lifting. That's mainly because. Just senior year, I decided yeah. to track like just the throw. There's shits and giggles. Because once, like, once football, yeah, once football ends. As senior if this year, guy didn't have fucking enough on his plate. <laughs> nah, I mean you know, <laughs> football ends senior year and it's like depression time because then you don't even get to do lifting at yeah. all. They're like, you're done, buddy. Get a yeah. I'm a welder. But the after that, I was like, well, I let me try track. I'm, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna maybe I'll throw. What do the throwers do? They just after school they uh, they they walk well, a little bit. Yeah. They throw the half an hour, go home, eat. You know? Yeah. Uh, everyone else and their mothers running until five o'clock. So yeah, bro. I said I'm gonna throw, but, but we because of that after school there was like uh, weightlifting sessions. And Yosef would be there coming through, bro. I because sw- I already had weights that that time. Yeah, too. you were already in the class, and like I was just like you, obviously. Would what? you say peak physique? I swear to God, me dude, too. I missed that fucking. Me too, man. <laughs> like, dude, I was. It was two days on Fridays. Yeah, just fucking lifting. Yeah, and it was so fucking fun because yeah. we because I was. Remember, we remember Rich. <laughs> we, Rich. We'd always compete. Exactly. Oh, Cause, cause yeah. Because like, because I was obviously Lifting-wise. the weaker guy on the. Everyone else was like, putting two twenty five up like nothing. Wait, I was like struggling with like one thirty five sometimes. Damn. And, like, I'm mean, so Rich crazy. is doing the same. So we were like, right, right. people would joke around and be like, "Yo, so Rich, who's gonna lift more? Who's gonna lift more?" Uh, and, like, shout out Rich. Oh, the man, homie. Those are good times, bro. Rich homie. But, um. Right, yeah. <laughs> low main. <laughs> yeah. Guy's name, but um, but, uh, no, I was gonna say, yeah, physique white, bro. Like, because I had track after school, we had that after school. You know, what I would do in the mornings with Thaddeus. Oh, that fucking six a.m. Yeah, boot camp. You would go a couple of times, yeah, but I out. hated that. Shit, I know, dude. cause you wouldn't sleep. You would just no, dude. My let me t- YMCA six a.m. If we're talking about high school, let me tell you YMCA six a.m. boot camp. Dude, I like relatively have more control over my sleep schedule now. Like, just a little bit, you know? <laughs> That's not saying. Like, it's not a lot, but we have some more control. Yeah, High yeah. school, I would go, tw- like, no sleep at night, no sleep during school, go to weights class, go do the double, do another two lift days, with you guys. Yep. And then some, the two days, I did. <laughs> On a good day. <laughs> like, those insanity shits. Yeah, yeah. Or it's just straight cardio, just running and Bro. doing jumping jacks for yeah. like an hour. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, fuck this shit, dude. Yeah, remember those? Yeah. Oh my! And I was like, I, per, I, I personally was not seeing like any benefits to do, but that was I was just like, this is fucking, I'm not doing this shit, you know. <laughs> so All right, like, but no, you, bro, you exploited dude, like, the system. And then I would sleep as soon as I got so from like three 
it was like 3 15 3 20 when mm-hmm. i got home mm-hmm. from school mm-hmm. sleep until like 12 o'clock at night yeah do like a little <laughs> bit of homework <laughs> Five o'clock, go to the do the gym and then so, go yeah. right through everything. Again. Yeah, it was fun. Thaddeus, shout out Thad Luong, bro. He and I, we were on a pretty good system Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, and that's what you're talking about. Where six a.m. boot camp at the YMCA before class, before school started, and then uh, go to school. Go to, so like when I say that's probably my peak <laughs> physically. Yeah, I do. Uh, I really wish. I mean, the YMCA it's open now, and even the SRC, bro. Finally, this Monday the Wick is opening or the Fuck. the hyper. So I know I, I'm just I'm trying to find some exercise class, man. I think that'd be Dude. something just to do. Not for my fucking living. It's room, just but, been car- like like we said before. Um, it's just been cardio, like for me and you. Like we haven't lifted yeah. in fucking forever. Well, like I'm actually getting back into lifting. I'm oh. missing cardio now. Yeah, I haven't played what basketball in forever. Are you, are you lifting? Desert desert? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. See, I just haven't been lifting much at all. I mean, it's not a lot, like, but yeah, like if anything, I, I think I, the last time I lifted was probably three months ago. Like that's fucking at your apartment. Yeah. Yeah. Three, four months ago. I mean, I'm like I miss it. What's weird is like I can I don't know like just just straight cardio. Like my arms are like leaning out a little, but I'm yeah, just like, yeah, dude, yeah. I'm, I'm missing the fucking like being sore I, the next day. And just I know, bro. I know. Dying. I'm trying to get something out of it, but, but uh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to play basketball with uh, Jerry tomorrow, so oh, we'll see. You might be asleep. Well, that's okay. I'm fucking yeah. That's okay, bro. Don't, don't. <laughs> did you uh did you see uh, about microsoft yeah they bought bethesda here's yeah. here's what, so microsoft, microsoft bought bethesda bethesda game yeah, studios they have, like skyrim fallout fallout the witcher all these fucking major major games mm-hmm. uh which i think is just some shit to be like i feel like they're gonna make this shit those games exclusive because microsoft owns it now yeah that's the um, that's the main idea but people yeah. were saying that might not happen but, I mean, I would be surprised if it didn't happen because yeah. Microsoft has or Xbox has zero like actual exclusives, <laughs> like other than like Halo, and even then we saw fucking Halo Infinite kind of look like shit. Yeah. And then PlayStation's just coming out with exclusives. Spider Man. Oof. What else? They fucking got? Ghost of Tsushima, the game they count they, the oh, game I upgraded yeah. for. Oh my. Yeah, God, literally. So no, they have like the heavy, heavy hitters. So Xbox, like, so this yeah. is a big move. Yeah. It but was, there's uh, a pattern. Week. Like Microsoft, whenever they buy a company, mm-hmm. the company falls to shit after. <laughs> like, granted, but then they but, buy the tw- the what is Twitch's competitor? Remember? Oh yeah, uh, they, it, they, what's it called? Mixer. Mixer. Yeah, it, was it was their, their was, thing. Yeah, it was their, their thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. And then they got Ninja to come. For like yeah. A couple, for like five minutes. For like yeah. And, and then, I was on like YouTube. And you know what's crazy about his contract? So they obviously was like one of the fattest contracts in like streaming, right? To get Ninja to, right. to Mixer, right? Uh-huh. So eventually what Mixer had to do because they were shutting down soon, they had to buy out his contract. Oh So he got all God. that money back just to go back to Twitch. Because they were done. They were yeah. closing it up. That man made bang. Dude, billions with Bang. a B? No. But, oh my uh, God. Probably and up like, there. Probably up there. But uh, yeah, I thought I thought that was interesting. You know, we we, we like video games, and you know, I, I huge Fallout fan. Uh, didn't get seventy six. You know, I'm not. Uh, I I kind of fell I off video get games into it. recently, to be honest. But uh, couldn't get into Fallout it. three, Fallout four. That's my shit for sure. Uh, Skyrim, definitely. We we have friends that love these games, so it's definitely gonna stir up something. Yeah, like I haven't been playing much games other than the PlayStation exclusives, just because they're so fucking good. Yep. But um, you get the PlayStation uh, Five. I'm, I'm gonna get. The, I yep. didn't get the pre-order because I was like, eh, I saw, bro. These you cannot, you cannot. Uh, They're selling out get a link. fast, yeah. bro. Like, IGN deals every other. Yeah, minutes. bro. Oh, it's, it's gone. It's selling out fast. Yeah. Like, it's like the the graphics cards that we were talking about, like the 30. <laughs> that shit's yeah, out. yeah, yeah. But um, they, they both came out. It was so funny because you look yeah. at a side by side of what's it called Xbox. Uh, what's it called? The Series X. Series X. Yeah. And then PS5. And it's like goddamn nearly equivalent. Yeah. With the same price range, so it's like, who's got yeah, the better bro. shit? I, I'm. It's gonna come down to the exclusives. I, think, I remember back games. in the day, wasn't it like obviously you had to pay for Xbox Live? Wasn't the PlayStation Live network free? It like, was before, like yeah, a long time. That's ago. all like, I remember. Like first Xbox, like PlayStation Now or PlayStation Plus was already free before. That's why I figured, yeah. But then Microsoft was like, you know what? We can fucking charge these motherfuckers for Xbox well, Live. Well, for Xbox Live, it's so been it, yeah. So they started charging. The PlayStation was like, why the fuck? They followed suit. They okay, gotcha. But like where Xbox is going to win is because of the Game Pass. 
So, so yeah, is this is their thing? Just Xbox yeah, Game Pass? So our, yeah. yeah, so you just pay... 20 bucks a month? Yeah, something yeah. like that. But you get access to the full Xbox library. That's... that's New and old. That's so if the game smart. comes out, what they, what people are thinking that they're going to do is uh-huh. like, let's say tomorrow, Witcher 4 comes out, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. That game comes out on PlayStation and Xbox. You don't have to buy the Witcher, Witcher 4. What? New games? It comes right on New game games Pass. on Game that's Pass? What, that's what wow. a lot of people are thinking is about Bro, to happen. Bro, the, the days of buying $60 games. That's what I'm saying. Are and you like, serious? There was a scare about like games going up to like 70 bucks a game. What? Yeah, because because they were like, oh, it's new technology, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, it's been 60 for like... That, that's what I'm saying. I saw that, something... That, it was event. That's what people were saying. Like, this was that Nikki J... Uh, who said that? Uh, yeah. I think it was his video game video talking about how the price point has been that way for so yeah, long yeah, yeah. because it's just kept up yeah. time with the technology and all but that. But I'm saying but, like hmm. a lot of people are expecting either this gen or maybe most likely next gen. Yeah. Prices are going to go up $10. So this subscription, this is obviously a subscription yeah. based thing. It's like streaming in a way. Like yeah, you just exactly. have access to all this shit. Yeah. But like that, I could see that model being the model it's for video games, right? It's going to be fucking wild. Why not? And then PlayStation now is trying to keep up. Because for them, they're guaranteed money every month. Big Sorry, companies. Lakers won. Let's go. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> okay, we'll get Live that reaction. Okay. Even though it happened <laughs> four days ago. <laughs> no, no, they're probably going to go, we'll go. win the series by the time this is up. Dude, and Wins we'll, game. We'll, talk, we'll, talk about, we'll talk about it later. Anyway. Yeah, so All right, fine. Yeah, so, but uh, um, anyway, games. Yeah. Fucking. Can. Ronnie 2K fixes fucking games, please. What happened? Fucking. 2K21? Well, first off, 2K's been on a fucking thing. decline. I've said fucking so many times. But, like, oh shit. So, sorry, my bad. I hit the mic. But, uh, so 2K's been doing this thing where, like, obviously, the, we've talked about the time savers before, right? The what? Time savers. So, like, let's say, so obviously, in like 2K15, 16, let's say you're doing my career, it's pretty easy to level up to, like, 95 overall you know just from grinding right oh yeah, yeah, yeah. but then if you wanted to pay more for like, in, like vc yeah if you want to pay vc upgrade your guys you could upgrade faster yeah that's all that was right? yeah that's all it was next so year. then when people start when 2k ronnie was like you know what fucking we could start making it harder so that people start doing buy your way up yeah buy your way through. got it got it and so they started doing that and that was from like 2k 17 18 19 right so really the best players are just yeah. dropping 2K20 and 19 were the two most horseshit ones mm. because it's pay to win for the most part, but then they put a cap on how much you can buy until. So then you have to grind to get the those those the attributes. Those extra caps. pieces yeah. anyway. So it's so like you're so literally it's just a scam to start at the same yeah. spot. Yeah. How much would you how much extra do people pay? Well it like, depends on how much like a hundred thousand VCs is like it can be I think it's like seventy bucks. What the fuck? And dude, someone did the buy math. another game. Someone did the math for like to grind, no, no pain, uh-huh. just to grind. The it time, takes like the hundreds time. of thousands of hours to get to like level ninety two, ninety three. Well, shit, man. Just no payment or anything. There you go, Ronnie. Yeah, Ex- fuck you. Exploit uh, think, the and, hell dude, out of and then the, the games are getting worse too. So like, the shot what? meter. Oh, really? Like you know how when you're playing, it, <sighs> it's it's pretty. It's way easier to hit the green now or before. You know, like oh, okay, play. so now it's like fucking now it's impossible. fucking damn near impossible. It's a full white, like on the meter, uh-huh. it doesn't go in. And now uh-huh. they change it to where it's like, it's just so. I didn't buy a two K twenty one. Nice for this gen. You're making a, you're taking a stand. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> it, I need to see how they're gonna do. This is where Because uh, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So obviously we're on the next generation of consoles, and two K twenty one yeah is releasing on both. Yeah. The one that released now is it's half ass. I already knew that one was gonna mm, be garbage. Mm. It's the next gen 20. one that I'm excited for. Oh, that, right. Yeah. You're saying that one's not out yet. That one's right. Because it's for no. the newer console with the yeah, Kobe so cover one, and those. There, there's two Kobe. Those, covers. There's two Kobe. Yeah. Right, right, right. The first one is. Oh, I, I was under the impression those were already out too. No, no, no. no like no. that's the same. Okay. So, so just wait. Next just wait till the next thing. And then and wait for reviews then, because this current one is obviously it's going to be dog shit. It's just a cash trap. I cash see. Trap. I see. Um, just it's video game companies that are just trying to like with the microtransactions and like paying to win and all this shit. The Avengers game that they yeah, came out, yeah. I was telling you about that. What's, like, what do you have to buy in there? For, cause, Co- for costumes. It's, cause costumes and shit. Obviously, people want the costumes, you know, because that <laughs> shit looks cool. Yeah. They made that shit damn near impossible unless you have unless you buy. Um, like you have to buy currency, so you can't unlock it just by playing. Get, otherwise, mm-hmm. you're just grinding for hours and hours and hours. Hey man, you and gotta flex. Fuck, that Fortnite yeah. might as well have just fuck that. Might okay, as well so, have peaked the whole so industry like the in that currency sense. Without buying, mm-hmm. right? you open those by getting chests and like doing challenges. Yep, challenges you get like maybe like a hundred 
of those coins, and like in chess, it's like thirty to forty at most. Okay. The fucking middle tier, co- like not even like the top tier costumes, it's like three thousand. <laughs> you know how much fucking grinding that is. That's their whole week. <laughs> Dude, I finished the game for fucking Black Iron I Man. I finished the game. The game mm-hmm. was ten hours long, which is kind of yeah. Bullshit. You kept saying how short it was. It's stupid short. Yeah. Ten hours long. I beat the game. Nice. And I still hadn't even fucking. <laughs> Gotten another Come close to get the... Not one. Oh my god! I was like, "Fuck that!" You were telling me about the like the Spider-Man game, for example. Like, was that, that a little shit better? was beautiful? The because you didn't have to pay real money. You could actually unlock. It. It's just you play it. The more you play, the more shit you get to make because it's crafting. Like you make them. Yeah. You know, you have to do like some challenges, some that and that. Okay. And it's easy though. Mm-hmm. It's not fucking hard at all. <laughs> It's not like, oh, yeah. pay this to fucking save some time. This you know? is like, this is for like the, the kids, man. The kids who just want to like, That's like, like for their birthdays, like my little cousins, yeah. uh, I'm sure Ali, when he was younger too, where they went for their birthday, VC and I, uh, what's it called? Bucks. V Bucks. <laughs> that Roblox? <laughs> so is that pretty. Roblox? No, no, that was, that's Fortnite. Oh, V Bucks. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> but whatever. I mean, that's the hey, new bro. thing, right? It's, it's, it's not enough to own the game. You have to pay in the goddamn yeah, thing and. I mean, the back, thing you could say about like, Fortnite, day, though, at least it's free. You know, like Fortnite, it's free. That's so, like, you're true, paying for this versus true. paying for a legit. But Spider Man wasn't, I mean, uh, not Spider Man. No, Sp- Avengers, yeah. You had to pay Avengers wasn't free for that. Avengers was free for that. That's like a but that that's Avengers I was, game. I don't know. That's what I said. Square Enix. I fucking knew uh, they were going to drop yeah. the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so, that was from uh, yeah, that's Microsoft. That's it for the fucking gaming segment. No, that's fine. I was going to either do. Do you Did you think of a Lauda of the week? Uh, no, you, why don't you think of one? I hear you go for you. You oh okay okay. Exactly. Do you I have, have one? Yeah, I can talk about it real quick. Right, okay, it. cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Lauda of the Week. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Wait, that's kind of old. Old. I can't do this. Da, da, oh my da, 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 god, yeah, don't do too much. We'll get this. Thing. No, uh, all I'd say, uh, those of you who've been watching before, you know this segment. But Lauda means uh, idiot in Farsi, and Farsi is the language of our people. Damn it, no. But uh, we are <laughs> Afghans, so we we obviously speak Farsi. So anyway, we call it Lauda of the week, where each week Joseph and I think of a Lauda idiot uh, to bring to the table, talk about it, and then you all comment below or uh, let us know who you think is uh, truly a Lauda. So for me, the idiot uh, of the oh, week, Lauda, actually. as it were. Or uh, so you heard about. We obviously talked about uh, Joe Rogan and the Spotify deal, right? Yeah. So, you know, all of his episodes got ported over to Spotify. All of them. Right? Well, not all of them because they uh, yeah. decided to not put some problematic hosts uh, yeah. or guests, which I somewhat disagree with. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's their platform. So, yeah. on the same token, also, real quick, Spotify is a Swedish company, by the way. It's not American. It's a Swedish company. Like it's big. Okay. So, anyway, <laughs> uh, just for context. But uh, here's the thing. That's just cool. They were... <laughs> it's German. <laughs> here's the thing there is a I guess a group or maybe a few I don't know number of Spotify employees who have come out and said that they were going to strike against Spotify basically quit and like oust it uh, out just basically quit or strike because they want editorial control over some of the particular Joe Rogan episodes where they want to edit out or maybe cut out some of the things he was saying certain things about trans people you know just certain thing and like if that's not going against free speech man, no no no, 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 no. that's is, fucking so. dumb that's dumb you can't jump into someone's fucking you can't go into someone else's content and then try to censor it that's literally what it, it's censoring <laughs> yeah 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 that's literally what it is yeah as if being politically correct like wasn't as bad as our, like you know what I mean? It's like, never it's been not, worse. Yeah. As if it hasn't been enforced enough. Now you want to actually go into someone else's content and then edit it out. And I mean, just you know, you know, views. I don't know what the contract was. Obviously, this is between him and Spotify. What do I have to do with it? Nothing. Yeah. But I just saw it on Twitter and I was like, huh. As if you know, excluding certain episodes wasn't enough. They're yeah. still on YouTube, but like, uh, I was listening to watch one of them earlier, music. and I remember like he, go he watch was him, go watch him, go watch him. They're really good episodes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, but uh, I was like, I was listening to a specific segment. I was like. Oh, okay, this is probably what they don't want to hear. Yeah. Because he's a comedian first. Yeah. Like, people don't realize that, like, he... I would argue, bro, like, he made comedy and stand-up comedians, like, especially the comedy store. Like, he he put that a little bit m- more globally and more on the map uh-huh. because of his success with the podcast. Uh-huh. Like, a lot of people wouldn't know yeah. about certain comedians and just his... Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. Because like, of him. I mean, his podcast is, like, what, it's been, like, going on for how many ten years Ten years. About ten years. That's now. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like... For ten years, he's been having just people come in, like yeah. friends, show like friends of the show, whatever. Yep, yep. Just come on up, uh, like aspiring comedians. Right, right. All these up, like so. com- 
these controversial guests or whatever. One, yeah, yeah, to have a that, conversation. Yeah, that's what, that's the. Why do you think conservatives fucking hate liberals so much, dude? Like, you know what I mean? Because they're gonna co- they'll come to a college like here, and then they won't get to talk, and like, then it just looks bad. Like that's not like. Granted, we're not conservative, by no, the no, way. No, 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 no. Like, like we've already said, we're left leaning. Like we're yeah. more in the middle than anything. Yeah. We just fucking we, both sides are full of shit. Let's be real here, you know. But the thing is, is like, when you're f- more on the right, there's some of this shit too. But like, it's that's different. But like, whenever, even if it comes down to conversation between like, oh, a uh, fucking a Democrat talks to a conservative, they debate whatever. That's it, and then it can be fine. Mm-hmm. You know, like there's obviously like that's what Joe Rogan's podcast is. Like normally, mm-hmm. it's like he's pretty. I think he's pretty left leaning. You know, yeah, like, he is. He's yeah. more in the middle. Yeah, that's but, you what know, he said. But yeah. like, like like us, he's he's more like. There's bullshit on yeah, both sides. Yeah, moderate views, yeah. left leaning. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this conversation, having a conversation it's with someone so with important. other views, it's so isn't important. a big deal. No, the and it's important. The problem is when somebody wants to come in and then silence what what others, what someone who you don't like what they're saying, like you're gonna try to shut them down, like that. That's that's just ma- that's yeah. proving them right, if anything. And like you know? people have gotten mad at him for giving these people another platform yeah. to speak on, but it's like the way he says it, it's I. These are not. You don't define a person necessarily by some of their opinions yeah. and stuff. You know, it's like just having a conversation, hearing it out in his long three, four hour long form. It's important, man, because, you know, bro, we're in the, this age of the way journalism is heading and stuff. Headlines are going to be misleading. They just are, right? Cause Definitely. They, it's become it had a clickbait. Yeah. Our headlines are misleading because I need you to yeah. watch. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but like legit, like journalism is like under attack, man, because like. Bro, there's just there's never been more ways to get information, right? So everyone's fucking fighting. CNN needs you to turn off ad block. NBC, God bless, let you use the website without ads on. So uh, all that to say, it's it's refreshing and it's it's, it's necessary to like, listen to things. Long. I, we like talked. I think we talked a little bit about this before about how like how film critics are like more, now more than ever. It's oh, like yeah. politics first, movie later. Yeah, you know, like Birds of Prey. Probably for the same reason. That fucking Harley Quinn uh, Birds yeah. of Prey movie. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, who the fuck actually thought that was a good movie other than like fourteen what? year olds and like some really? <laughs> What's its rating? Some really like just fucking women that just hate men. You know what I mean? Like, dude, that movie got like a seventy percent, eighty percent audience. No, no, no. The critic score. The critic score is what I'm talking about. What's the audience I think, score? Can, can someone? Double I can check look it up. What, what's the word? Seventy. Oh, good look. Seventy eight. Uh, is that audience? Yeah, that's that's a critic. That's a critic score. Oh, okay. That's oh, they critic show score. critic score first. What my problem is the wow. critic score. Audience. It's the same. It's the audience what? is also seventy eight. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's well. That, Did you see it? I saw like the first quarter of the movie, and I wanted to blow my brains out, bro, because it's on HBO. <laughs> You, Shut you're, you're a corporate <laughs> man. You're, you're a corp. I know Dude, you're a corporate man till you, the end. But I'm, I swear to God, damn. this movie—it's so fucking cringy, so weird. Obviously, Is it David Ayer? Yeah. No. 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 no else, it's else, a female else. director. Yeah. Like, let me listen to this shit. Right, Margot name. Robbie, obviously, great actress. She kills it in like ninety-nine percent of the movie. She's an I. I think she did bad in like one movie, and even then, I don't even think it was her fault. It's more the script. Fucking Ewan McGregor, he was even having fun with it, you know? Like when I saw him on the screen. Ewan McGregor was in this? Yeah. He's the he's Black Mask. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And dude, the movie is so weird. Like there's a scene where she's fucking she's she orders like a like a breakfast sandwich and they're showing how it's cooked. Benjamin Babbage did an episode on this too. Uh-huh. Watch his shit. Yeah. Um, but dude. It's like the way that she's acting while she's like, I don't know. Do you want to so hear? Because uh, I, real quick, we were talking about Joe Rogan's Spotify, but uh, that, because the, the Spotify employees, that whole thing, wanting to censor yeah. was my leather. Do you want to, do you want your list to be the Birds of Prey fans? No, 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 no. I, got, I came up with another Okay, case, all right. But, just bring that up. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Here, let me just get okay. my point again. Okay. My point is that what has become with journalism lately, mm-hmm. back to circling around, nice. we went off topic. Yeah. Uh, it's like, it's what. It's the political message of the movie first, and then how the mo- if the movie's actually good or not comes second. So people know? are clicking. You know on. how many fucking movies I've read, re- movie reviews where I've read on Rotten Tomatoes or any other blogger where they're like, you know, the political message was strong. It had this, it had this meaning. Many like gay rights, fem- feminism, all that shit, right? That mm-hmm. not that shit, but all that important mm-hmm, messages. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. that that's at the forefront. And then yeah. they go, the movie has its flaws, but then they just glance over. They don't talk about the flaws. 
Uh, a film critic they're looking at someone else I'm like you gotta fucking talk about how the movie's flawed first and then talk about the fucking movies Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. the message you know Mm -hmm. a movie can be dog shit but as long as it has a decent message it'll get a fucking higher rating yeah but the movie's dog shit because they want to write the tie the headline about that That, but it's it we all know it's not supposed to be like that. It's no, it's not to be, supposed to be, but it's, it's definitely to be, becoming that. It's it is. Yeah, I'm saying it has to fucking change back <laughs> to where it's like the craft yeah. of the movie first, and if it's a good movie or not, yeah. then talk about the fucking movie. It has to be a movie with a political message, not a political message that is a fucking movie. That's what it has to be. So that's my that's that relates to the fucking journalism thing. You fucking don't you can't edit someone else's shit unless you're unless it's you behind that camera or on that on camera, talking in the mic, entertaining people, keeping shit interesting, then you gotta shut the fuck up, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. But, that was a good lot of the week. <laughs> Who's yours? Do you, do you have one? Uh, well, like, of I one? thought of one, because it was like, it's a pretty, um, serious event. You know? oh, okay, okay. Like, uh, we, I was gonna do a thing at the end, but, uh, yeah, do you um, want to talk about it? Should we make that? We'll make it. We'll make it. Go ahead. So, um, serious turn. Uh, None of the cops responsible for shooting Breonna Taylor were held responsible, and nobody was held accountable. Um, obviously, the system fucking failed. M- not only Breonna Taylor, but many people of color, and just the country as a whole. To be honest, you know what I mean. Yeah, man. It, we, the yeah, there's no way to not to talk about it. Listen, it's, like it's going on right now. It's impossible not to talk about it. Like you know, yeah. especially if we have a platform. Even though our platform's like it's pretty small, but still, you gotta, you know what I mean. Like we yeah, gotta talk no, about it's, it. It's what's going like, on. So, yeah, definitely. We so. obvi- I don't know much about. You don't even have to know much about the system. Just like the justice system. Other, than, but you can still see that something has to fucking change. You know what I mean? Like yeah. It's not, uh, yeah. The the same argument we keep I keep hearing. I don't know if you keep hearing this shit, but like where it's like, I mean, the system isn't perfect, but it works. Like, have you heard that shit before? Like, uh, damn. When they I talk guess. about, like, I guess I've heard this shit come up so many times. It seems to only work for the I mean, same people yeah. every time. Yeah, it doesn't. The um, thing is, it doesn't. It's not even that it doesn't always work. It's just, it seems like it's doesn't working for a I lot mean, of people. A lot of the same people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, um, this one, this one, this one sucks. Yeah, but yeah, definitely. I'm with you. I, I would, I'll defer to yours on wh- whoever it was, like the judge. Who do you think it be? The judge or like the it was the it was whoever the, like it was decided. The attorney general, I think. Attorney general. Okay. I, think, I don't know. Like, do your own research, but yeah. um, yeah, man, rest in peace, Breonna Taylor, and um, mo- uh, power and safety and health to everybody who's protesting out there right now. You know, making it heard because that's how change happens, man. Yeah. Like, that's what we saw with George Floyd. Like enough people shook the, this country uh, to expose the bullshit that, like, then the officers did get uh, all three of them. Or in that case, remember that uh, got uh, higher charges, I believe it was. Yeah. So all that to say, man. Uh, people, you know, protesting and just keep it, keep it going, man. And um, yeah. yeah. And before anybody fucking says anything, one the whole you know people are like oh property damage. Like the protests and the property damage one. Uh, yeah. What's you could go to fu- so apparently you can go to fucking jail for property damage, but you can't go to jail for killing someone in their sleep. So if that doesn't tell you how fucked up the system is, yeah, you can go to jail for both. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just uh, the right people don't go to jail, especially if you're wearing a badge. Yeah. Like, that's it's fucked up. It's tough to say, but you know. Okay. Um. All right. But this kind of the next segment, like I just thought of too, because okay. it related to this. All right. All right. Uh, Kobe Covington, Covington, the the UFC fighter that called LeBron out. He called him like a. Do you see this? Uh, he called LeBron a spineless coward. He's the guy that got his face broken, right? Yeah. By um Kamaru Usman. What a dude. Oh, UFC talk is. So this guy was still talking shit. Even no, this after he got he his face no, this, uh, this is after uh, that. Fa- after Way that after that. that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this, so what do you this do? is recent. What this do you like, do? Literally a couple like uh, this week. What do you do? Uh, so he won a match, um, and he. For, so he wins a match And obviously he's a He's a Trump supporter You know Colby boy. Yeah He is Yeah Okay Um. And Yeah they said they Keep America Great hat yeah, on Yeah, yeah. He that. didn't have it on The interview But like he, he's okay. had it on before Okay And uh, he wins a match And he's like Oh I dedicate this fight To the uh, the first responders Obviously okay. they matter And like he's He's you know Being like 
obviously he's like blue eyes matter like okay. that's kind of his okay. thing and then he takes a jab at lebron and he's like he calls lebron a spineless coward for like kneeling during the flag and like protesting and like being vocal about the obvious shit and this is before the brianna taylor yeah yeah you said it was last uh, so um mm-hmm. that guy's probably feeling fucking stupid at least he should be <laughs> You know, th- oh, if this doesn't show God. you how fucked up... This is a UFC? Yeah, UFC he's fight? a UFC fighter. Um, Kobe Covington. Um, yeah, he wow. co- Yeah, and he insults LeBron's mom on, like, a tweet. Because after LeBron responded, like, he was like, oh, like, LeBron ain't about it. Uh, if he was, Delonte West wouldn't have fucked his mom. Which, Way to bring up shit from, like... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, two, everyone's a fucking... A decade always, ago. But, you know... Um, this guy just sounds like this guy uh, is actually the loud. This little, guy's the main loud. Sounds like a, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, why not? Such a dumb. What allowed man. that? But uh, it just sounds like a little man with a big punch. I guess you get lucky. Yeah. But um, I mean, he could kill us. No, I know. <laughs> he but, could I mean, legitimately kill okay, us. Okay, that's his industry. Um, but I mean, uh, damn, bro. If you uniform, he might get away with it. That's crazy, uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Never really know. <laughs> pro athletes know. Yeah. Uh, doing that, but um. um yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Here. Let, let, me, let's, try, let's transition let me try let's and flip this around. Like line. literally, yeah. we just talk about comedy. Yeah. <laughs> so comedy. <laughs> I want to give a real quick plug for uh, our stand-up comedy uh, event we have at IU every week now. So Monday nights at uh, eight o'clock uh, outside, right by the IMU Indian Memorial Union in Dunmeadow. We got a little outdoor stage shot. Thomas uh, uh, Gerson, my boy. He uh, is a sophomore here, actually. Guy. It does comedy. He's from Arkansas. He set up this whole show every Monday. You got the stage, everything. It's free uh, to come perform, come out, sign up, and uh, every Monday. So by the time you're watching this, come out tonight, eight o'clock. Hope to see you there. I'll be there doing it for the fifth time, and you know, still trying to slow down and not slur, um, not say a slur, slur my words. I might say a slur. Oh my no, God. <laughs> it's probably a good time, right? Yeah, it's a good time. Just drop a couple. <laughs> I just get there. Hey, it's been enough time, right? <laughs> <laughs> this thing on. <laughs> but uh, bro, I wish you would come sometime. Like it's it's Monday. Dude, it's you, every time I'm fucking. I'm dude, either, I either. Got you were moving or, last time, yeah. I think. Yeah. But um, I'm, I think I'm, it's a good spot. Like, you want to know for the first you time? You want to know try. what the pro? Like I'll have. You know what my problem is? Like the main thing, I'll I have. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I have material. Mm-hmm. Like some, like I have some glimpses. Like I'm in the shower. And I'll listen. I'll just say shit in my head and I'll laugh and I'm like, yeah. oh, that'd be funny. Yeah. I put it in like the back of my head to be like, okay, you know, I'll fucking write that down. Forget to write it down, and it's gone forever. And then I, when that day comes, yeah. I'm like, I got nothing, dude. I'm no, like, what I know. What am I gonna do? If I can do crowd work? No. Like, what school you go to? <laughs> you know? IU. And you? Yeah. We're at IU. We all go to IU. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. Just, 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 <laughs> no, just bro. Work. Just notes app in your phone, man. Just literally. Uh, scrap it up Whatever you need A notepad Whatever But literally like I just use the Fucking notes app And Google Keep app And whatever I think If someone just like I just, I just, I Shot know, it Whatever it is like the I just don't want to bomb the first, I know that's common Bro I only bomb <laughs> <laughs> Said the Muslim no, <laughs> 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 Let's go Come on Let's go But uh right. No for real bro Like you have to Like you just have to Like even this kid Thomas Man this guy He's really good Like cause he's been Doing it for a while yeah. He he you know Obviously goes here now And um is getting the scene here But like yeah, you can just tell if someone's a little bit more experienced. You, you want to know something? Actually, this this is this is kind of related because mm-hmm. uh, it's like so from my acting class. Oh yeah. Um. So we I had to I had to memorize a scene, right? Right. So sh- last Thursday we had rehearsals. Okay. For this one scene. Partner scene or yeah, monologue? the partner okay. scene. So my partner has been in theater produ- Like she's the girl that like has been in theater her whole fucking life. Oh my okay? god. She's obviously way better than me. That's not the problem. The problem was that I didn't have my fucking lines ready. I didn't have my shit memorized. I was supposed to have Wait, was this rehearsal like graded? No. Oh, okay. Okay. (laughs) Dude, let me tell you. So I had each page. I had to memorize like around like four pages, okay? I had each page pulled up on my laptop, okay? And I'm putting the phone, like I have the camera so where it looks like I'm just looking directly in the camera, right? (laughs) Bro, I'm doing so good for the first two pages. I get to the third page where, like, the main... I have, like, a so, pretty big chunk. Are you supposed to look at the camera while you're acting? Yeah, it's because it's, like, you know... you want to. So they want you to look at the camera. Yeah. Okay. And so... So are you, like, moving the, the fucking lens? third and fourth pages, gone. What do you mean, gone? The script... The, the third page of the script, they're gone. They, they disappeared off the fucking screen. Oh my. So I go... 
oh yeah, so this, this is, um, uh, no shit, fuck. Bro, bro. Uh, was this was this in front I, of the class? In front of the class, okay. Oh, uh, oh shit, <laughs> fuck. Oh no. You- <laughs> I'm breaking down on camera. <laughs> you motherfucker. Find your PDF. I'm like, um, um, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> this guy went from, this guy went from like, dude, even De Niro. Head, it wasn't even fucking good. It was like me literally just reading, you know? You went like a full, but you had it like memorized. Yeah, like, so like you went from like full blown Rain Man. Dude, to fucking, um, 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 um. I was like fucking Michael Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> he just had, I don't think, hold on. Hey, jokes. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, I'm fucking wow. breaking down in front of everybody. My partner's just watching, like, eyes wide, just... Oh my god. Oh my god, shout out Zoe if you're listening to this. You probably aren't, but... Um, so she... Damn. So I <laughs> I pull up the shit finally. Do I gave up acting. I just read the lines. <laughs> just read that shit. Long pause. <laughs> <laughs> She's still in character. She's killing it, wow. dude. She has this, like, paragraph model. And why don't you memorize it? Don't do this. <laughs> Don't try and find the solution. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, dude, now every t- it doesn't matter how bad you, of an actor you are, in these acting classes, someone's gonna tell you if you like, they'll find a way to compliment you. Okay. Oh, okay. Especially my professor, nice. she'll find a way. She'll be like, "Yeah, you do this really good." What you say? Okay, okay. Dude, about everybody except uh, my face is in my fucking hand like this, just in shame. I'm not even looking at the camera. I'm just like, oh my god, uh-huh. oh my god. Uh-huh. Everyone's talking about how good my partner is doing, and like she fuck, I well deserve. You know, she's killing. Yeah. Me on the other hand, they go, any com- any comments for Yosef? Silence, crickets, nothing. I was like, yeah. And she goes, Yosef, how do you feel about that? I was like, I fucked up so bad. <laughs> Dude, I didn't give a shit. Damn, I, was nice. like, I didn't fucking. I didn't. I forgot my lines. Everything went to shit. Own it. it was my bad. Yep. She was like, I mean, honestly, if you didn't, if you didn't just tell me that, I would have thought it was part of your character. And I was like, Jamie, come on, come on. You and I both know I'm the guy who that was dog shit. Just takes a little. St- <laughs> I just took a steaming pile of shit in front of everybody and tried wow. to call it chocolate pudding. Okay. Oh like, my god. <laughs> It was not fucking. Tell good. that story, man, dude. Just oh, come man. on out. I but, guess uh, we're it's we're, we're coming close to time, honestly. But uh, comedy, we watched Blazing Saddles last yeah. week. Wow, I was Talk telling about, Sloan. He said, "How did it stand Spot- up?" And I said, "It, it did not." Dude, s- <laughs> Spotify would not. <laughs> <laughs> Spotify workers would not be. Happy. They wouldn't carry the soundtrack of that movie. My God, just in the first but fifteen minutes, it sounds like we were friggin- talking about how we watched Spaceballs, and now we watch Blazing Saddles. We're just going through Mel Brooks's fucking filmography, and I'm loving it. So tonight, well, mm-hmm. tonight when it was filmed, uh, or tomorrow night rather, yeah, want to watch uh, Young Frankenstein, Gene Wilder, you know, yeah. keep that going. Be that movie is so good. I love. You've that seen Young Frankenstein? I, I've seen it like three times. Oh I my love god! That okay, awesome. So fucking funny. Good. Um, like, good. There's the guy who plays Igor in the movie. Yeah. Oh my god, he's so fucking funny. If you haven't seen this movie, just watch it. Okay? I can't wait. Um, and it's like shot in like black and white too. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's really cool. I love that movie. And, uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights is another one of uh, Gene. Yeah, uh, I I uh, saw. I tried watching. Uh-huh. I, there's been three, like five separate times where I've started. Really? And I really liked it. Yeah, yeah. And then some point, I just fucking da- I daze out. I don't even know what's happening. Oh, bro. Um, um I saw. But yeah. The movie I saw recently. Mm. I saw The Princess Bride. Recently. Nice, bro. Did you see this movie? Of course, of course. Dude. Beautiful. I. Only liked one character. <laughs> really? I only liked one character. Well, uh, George Wall. Or two characters. My bad. Sean, two characters. Sean Wallace. Andre the Giant. Of course. And um, Inigo Montoya. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, okay. There's, there's, you there's like the only movie. two. What are you going to say? No, there's only you two. Like inconceivable. <laughs> you didn't like. <laughs> those are the only two people I like. I didn't really give a shit if I, everyone else could have died. And I would have been like, okay, cool. Nah. Peace. That's a yeah. great, great classic uh, movie. Uh, I need to watch that again, to be honest. It's been a while. It's good. Rob Reiner's. It's good. The Princess Bride. Yeah, and yeah. um, if we're if we're talking about movies, do you want to do an over under just right somehow with this? I I mean, we already talked about movies. I mean, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll just talk about movies. All right, well, we'll bum, bum, bum. <laughs> everybody, well, round of applause. Welcome now back to over under just movie right. Talk. This guy's Pillow segment, talk. he didn't Ooh. even think of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like you know, like it's just spontaneous. Okay, okay, okay. Just, <laughs> Do, do you have anything like, off the top of your head? No, uh, fuck, well, we talked about this a little bit before, but it, it, fucking Suspiria. 
So no. for those that don't know, what is it? Yeah. So Suspiria, the original Suspiria, is like a horror movie. It's a classic movie. Shit's fucking creepy. Italian, right? Yeah, an Italian movie, but it's dubbed in English. From the 70s? S- yeah. Mm. And the soundtrack, listen to it, fucking crazy. It's pretty iconic. We forgot to talk about something. David Blaine. What about David Blaine? The fucking balloon. Oh, I mean, yeah, that was like a couple we weeks ago. We never talked about that. That was a couple, I think, didn't we, we covered him on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast, I think. I feel like we talked Dude. about No, 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 but he actually did the stunt. I know, I know. Yeah, that was How funny. are we fucking not talking about that? Ascension, I know, oh, I know. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> there that goes. <laughs> See, I'm like a fucking, I just bouncing around. No, cool. no, you're fine, because I think he used that music in his yeah, special. Yeah, he, that's in, what it in, was. The, in that special with, like, Brian Cranston and everything, uh, yeah. they used the music from Suspiria David Blaine, magician special, yeah. Bro, um, he's, he's a god, bro. God damn, that man's insane. Um, he, he went up mode in real yeah. life, but he's no creative yeah. mode, rather. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but, um, you saw yeah, the so reboot yeah, of yeah, this movie. So, Spirit of the Original, everything about it is perfect. It's fucking creepy. It's like a slow burn, but like when it wants to hit, it hits the mm-hmm. fucking cinematography, everything. Perfect. Iconic, right? Yeah. Right? I need to watch this. Yeah. The acting is pretty solid, too. Mm-hmm. It's shit's creepy. Mm-hmm. The remake, though, okay, let me tell you. What's Hit Girl's name? Chloe? Yeah, fine. Uh, no, no, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. She was in Isn't this movie. Isn't it? Okay. This was 2018. She's like a main credit. Like, if you Google her, she's like the second person that shows up. She's not the star? She has like 15 minutes on screen, and the 15 minutes she's on is fucking weird. Isn't the movie about a ballet student or something? It's about a ballet school. Ballerina. Yeah, it's about a ballerina school. Is she like, not the main school. ballerina? No, she's somebody that fucking disappeared away. She's Who's in the, the main person? The main person is Dakota Johnson's character, and then Tilda Swinton's oh? character. Dakota Johnson? From you see titty. <laughs> I did not say it. No, but I'm just going to say it. This movie. Is there a. There's, it's fucking gruesome. Okay. There are some gruesome parts. Nudity? No, like gore. But oh, then but... there's nudity. Oh, okay. Now, so some of the. <laughs> now let me, let me fucking tell you what I didn't like about this. One, it, this movie had so much potential, okay? I had Tilda Swinton. We all know how fucking good of an actor she can be. You know, I had Dakota Johnson. She's fucking weird. She couldn't. It takes place in Germany. This one. Mm, okay. So like. So they said, "Fuck the original." For real, like, dude. And so, Tilda Swinton plays like there's so, there's two like main, everyone in the fucking sc- spoilers. The the school the ballerina school is run by witches, right? Mm-hmm. So there's one witch who's like the main bitch. Her name is Helena Marcus. Nice. And then there's another one, who's. Tilda Swinton's character I forget her name But they're kind of like At this like They're fighting for power Okay Right So Fucking Tilda Swinton She plays this fucking Super cool character Right mm. But she does jack shit I don't I like I really don't even understand What her character was Like it, Cause Dakota Johnson Has some weird connection <laughs> Or some shit The makeup was whack There was slow motion Who but, made it Any, any ma- big name film I don't fucking know I don't fucking okay. know But Chloe Grace Moretz Is in the beginning And she's literally 10 minutes And mm-hmm. then 5 minutes later And then she's out Yeah okay. And then, th- so it did so, not. It's not as good as the original. No, 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 obviously, not at all. it's not. Is it worth watching? No. Okay. But here's the thing. How can we watch this, the original? This, this is what I want to. You can watch. You can't watch. You gotta. You gotta look. Find for it. Okay. Yeah, right. You can watch the, the remake on Amazon. If you want to cook a movie, watch that. <laughs> Dude, but listen. So whenever there's slow mo, right, in this movie. Yeah, is it? Is you know it, when you forget to change the settings when you're doing like. It's 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 incorrect slow mo. Yeah. It? So like. Um, oh my god. You know, like like when you have. Well, you don't have that many frames a second. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's like twenty four. Like, you try to slow it down. Choo, 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 it's like that. It's like, yeah. In this feature movie, dude, but they do it on purpose. I, I would. It's trying to be stylistic. Is the thing. Does it work? No. Like, dude, the entire last act uh-huh. of this movie, it's like all these witches come <laughs> slow mo. It's the giant fucking the uh, 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 the fucking peak of everything. I okay. Feel. Yeah. It's like the climate. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> just don't watch this period. Just don't watch this. All oh, right. Thank God. But, okay. Uh, before we wrap up, bro, Tom Hardy was apparently supposed to be the next. This, that's dope. James Bond. That's 007. That's fucking dope. Obviously, Dan Craig. I'm here for it. This fucking, he was killing it. Man was gonna of win. course. He did Tom what he did. Hardy, pass it on. At first, I thought it was going to be Idris Elba. Yeah. No, that was the main thing. Black was, James Bond, bro. He can do it. Easy. Dude, he's Not, got, it's, it, dude, it, it's his beautiful. fucking voice, dude. You know, oh, yeah. He's, he's, like, he's great English anyway. Yep. Yep. Dude, so I don't know that that was earlier this year. Idris Elba, James Bond, of course. But then like recently, Tom Hardy. That was trending. Tom Hardy, and then it was announced or not hard announced, but like it's really heavily rumored. So I don't know, man. I was watching. Bro. I th- 
real quick, I'll send you this. It's like a, a, a one, like an hour forty long, a behind the scenes doc on the Nolan uh, Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah. There's an. Did you see this on WB's yeah. uh, YouTube channel? Oh my god, that's like the document I didn't think I needed, <laughs> like at Dude. the time I needed. Anyway, watching Tom Hardy again as Bane. And like just the performance he can do in general, he put on unbelievable so much fucking muscle for that movie, bro. Dude, he did everything—the eyes, the voice, everything. Like, he was already yoked because of Warrior, you know that the UFC, the like the fighting movie. Yes, he was already yoked because of that. Oh, okay. And then he put on like twenty pounds of yeah. muscle more. Yeah, yeah. Because they were talking like, well, either we're gonna have somebody who is really buff, and then we'll do like voiceover later. Yeah. But he did everything. Yeah, dude. And like, oh, what a man! I remember now. So hype, dude. So he'd be fucking crazy. That'd be awesome. Double's, yeah. Double's I heard his like when, when he's on the set, he like just takes over like this, like a fucking like a dog, just like oh, this is his set. Like, it's yeah. it's Hardy's set, dude. Oh my I don't god. Know. We'll see. I'm hoping Venom Two is really good. I gotta watch Venom. <laughs> no, <you don't>. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Like, okay, here's the thing about Venom. Obviously, they were trying to get all the boring shit out of the way. Uh-huh. You know, so there's like a lot of fucking Origin character story. Riz Ahmed could not be the villain of them. Yeah, I didn't think. Is he? He's oh, the villain that, of the movie. Oh, he, I mean, it's, he, he was the villain in the trailer. Yeah. Yeah, he's the villain. You know, but he's not fucking scary at all. <laughs> it's like, and the script, bro. The script is dog shit. By the, like, there's some parts where it's like. Dude, what do you? Who the fuck talks like this? Wow, you know, but Tom Hardy is obviously the Tom yeah. Hardy and Venom. That's yeah. the I know, yeah. diamond duo. Mm-hmm. That's the best part. Mm-hmm. Um, it's fucking boring for like the first half. Then he gets to the Venom symbiote. Yeah, and shit. It's it dope. It's dope. Check it out. Um, but now that they got that out of the way, Venom Two mm-hmm. is gonna have Woody Harrelson be fucking Carnage. That's gonna and it's directed by Andy Serkis too. It's gonna be a bomb movie. That Andy Serkis is gonna direct. Yeah, really. That means. Nice. Oh he directed God. a Jungle Book movie. A, the Jungle Book? No. No, no. Uh, there's two Jungle Book movies that came out. There's mm. one on Netflix, and then there's the John Favreau one. Right. So he the John the one Favreau on one is better. Yeah. The one on Netflix, it was. You okay. telling me this man Dude, played live Andy action Serkin. roles in John Favreau's, and then he also directed his own version of this movie. Mm-hmm. And he was doing fucking Planet of the Apes shit too, and everything. Dude, listen to this though. Oh my God. In his in Andy Serkis's movie, that cast. Fucking insane. Christian Bale as Bagheera. That was his? And he, I yeah, heard about Christian this Bale as Bagheera. Benedict Cumberbatch as uh, Shere Khan. That was his. And his Shere Khan is fucking scary, dude. I was fucking scared of him. Uh-huh. You know? But did they make it the same year? It was like within the year or Why one year apart? Why did they do that, bro? I'm so I was mean, obviously this is a while ago. This is a while ago. It's not in news, different. so I'm not even going to, but... Two years Wow. Dude, it's, it's a fucking. Andy it, Serkis was in the yeah. John Favreau one, right? Like he had to have played a live action. Ape, I think like he was. Right? I think he was blue and. He the, had to have been. No, 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 no. In his own. In his own. In he his wasn't own. even in the John Favreau. No. He's like he's like CEO of live action. Uh, suit. Dude, I, dude, he kills it every time. You tell me there was a movie with live action uh, yes. acting animals and he wasn't in it. <laughs> he was in his movie, but his. I'm talking yeah. about not in John Favreau. This is so. Yeah. Weird. It's really okay. fucking confusing. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm gonna watch. Is it still on Netflix? Yeah, it should his, be. His yeah, Jungle Book. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm gonna watch um, that. And then Kate Blanchett is uh, the yeah, snake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the snake isn't a bad guy. Mm. It's really Scarlett Johansson's fucking snake though. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> he did, oh. All this, right. Now that we're talking about the Jungle oh, oh. Book. No, no. One last what? movie. One last movie. One last movie. Okay. Uh, the Devil All the Time with Tom Holland, Robert Pattinson. Did you hear about this movie? Yeah, I did hear about it. That movie. Where's it on? Netflix. Okay. Watch that shit right now. First, Tom Holland's a great actor. Robert Pattinson's a fucking... He did his own fucking Southern accent. Didn't do it. Didn't talk with a voice coach or anything. Kills it in that movie. Everyone in that movie is fucking creepy. Mm. Okay. Dude. This movie... What's it a... What is it? It's like a tense as fuck. Thriller or something? Yeah, it's like... It's a slow burn. Is it Netflix original? Yeah. Okay. Um, Like, have you seen the clip of, like, Robert Pattinson, like, preaching? No. He's like, delusions! No. Blaspheming in your mind! You're he's like, doing a southern thing like yeah, that? Yeah, it all takes place in the south. When did this come out? Like, literally a couple of days ago. Like, Whoa. this week. Okay. Fucking great movie. I didn't hear too much about it. it it's, it's on streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Like oh my god This shit okay. is crazy um, right, yeah, And he's gonna kill it as Batman Fucking shit I know yeah. No I'm telling you After oh, watching the I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm back in my the Dark Knight trilogy days again I'm just watching oh, all that again god. god what a Christopher Nolan Anyway <laughs> Let's get with the times But yeah uh, The the Batman mm-hmm. 
going to be awesome. Also, God, they started production again because yeah, everyone's clean. Everyone's clear. Thank good. God. And uh, yeah. And that shit. I what, think. Is there any other closing? That's basic. That's everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, huge shout out again to Sloan Welsh, our audio producer, making it sound so good. Let's give him a we little hand here. We found the Jamie of the fucking hand. Say What podcast. Our young Jamie. I mean, for, he was looking shit up the whole time. He was yeah, I know, everything. I know, man. He was doing it oh all. Oh my God, killing it. God bless him. And uh, like I said, check him out uh, if you need for all your audio needs uh, here in town uh, or the greater Indiana area. Um, oh, one last message. Yeah. Uh, Smear Restaurant. We are on Grubhub now. I forgot oh, for to real? That before. Oh. We're on Grubhub, Over Eats, uh, DoorDash. Those three. Yeah. Nice. So if you don't want to go eat, Order delivery. Uh, that's, a, that's a quick little sponsor spot. Okay. Good stuff, yeah. man. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, for sure. I like shout out to the sponsor that's keeping us alive. Yeah, <laughs> not supporting the podcast, yeah. supporting our lives. My mom, my mom I was love like, it. I like that. That was very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we finally did something. I finally did something that you like. <laughs> Uh, that that's it, man. I thank you so much for tuning in. Episode four. If you're still listening, watching, viewing, uh, comment below. Let us know you were here. Comment. Um, comment. What should they say? Fucking Venus. Why do you? <laughs> I don't know. You have me yeah. this shit on the spot. Okay. All right. <laughs> Comment. Um, Venus. Weenus. Venus. Weenus. Yeah. yeah. Do your best at that. <laughs> and um, and us. Do us a big favor. Share <laughs> this. Add it to your library, like Yosef said in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Give it a like on Spotify, and uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you again so much for over a thousand subscribers. God bless you all. Really appreciate it. I'm going to make a video updating the uh, channel uh, upload schedule pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that. But uh, yeah, thank you again. Say what podcast episode four. Yosef, great to have you. Sloan, thank you again. And we will see you all next week. Peace. Real quick, before you click away, thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Click right here to subscribe to my channel for all future videos and click right here to check out this video over here. Have a great one. There we go.